What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So this will be a video talking about the Nun 2 once again. I saw some of you guys interact with that video very heavily. So here's an update for you. And it looks like we now have the confirmation that at least someone else who belongs in the makeup of a character is going to be reprising the character. They're not being replaced like Jonathan Brick. But uh, Bonnie Aarons will be back for the Nun 2 as Valak the Nun. And again, I know a lot of you are disappointed by the original movie. A lot of you I saw in the comment section were saying the same things I was saying. The biggest compliments that movie had might have been a couple of the performances and the dated setting, the gothic vibes it was giving off, and just the overall effective atmosphere it was able to establish for itself. And that was really it. And of course, Bonnie Aarons as Valak, she was amazing, just like she was in The Conjuring 2. But it's just like something, certain plot threads were off-putting, the narrative was a little disjointed, and you know, the cheap jump scares became a little bit excessive. I, from what I remember, I again still need to rewatch this movie. I still remember having fun with it, but walking away thinking like, eh, you know, they, they could have gone way harder with something like that. I, like I would love to see them take a more sinister approach, like I stated in my other video. I would love them to take an approach like that. Uh, or just something that's more along how they treated Valak in the original movie of The Conjuring 2 when she was first introduced. But getting into uh, how we learned that Bonnie Aarons would be would be reprising her role, James Wan shared an update over on his official Instagram stating that with the caption, None 2, moving into production with Michael Chaves, who we know is going to be directing the movie. He directed The Curse of La Llorona, and he directed the recent third entry in The Conjuring main series, The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It. And he was welcoming back Michael and Bonnie Aarons to The Conjuring universe and he shares some behind the scene pics of her in makeup choking him and just playing with him as the character of Valak. Now whatever they decide to do with the Nun 2 that'll be something that is of course going to be up to Akila Cooper. I know that I've already done a video recently where I stated that they said they had something teed up something that was a I guess fun and exciting and hopefully this is something that is actually fun and exciting i know that from the footage of what megan was shown because she wrote that too that seems to have garnered a lot of positive reaction so hopefully she's able to come in here bring this back to life because a lot of people think that there's no need for this i saw people saying that in the comment section there's no need for this so this is definitely a situation where you will have a sequel surpass its original this is definitely i think something that's guaranteed it's not necessarily guaranteed that the movie itself will be better than the original but i think you have a strong chance of surpassing the original because of how regarded that movie is considered as a failure or misfire but all in all with bonnie aarons being back you know and with akila cooper in it again she wrote malig akila cooper writing it i meant to say she wrote malignant many of you might be split on malignant i think she did a pretty good job there and if we can see what she has to offer with megan and if that gives another positive reception that could light a fire under people being more hyped to see what she is doing with the nun too and how they factor valak back into another new unique narrative where what time period is this going to be set in because i know at the end of the first one they managed to connect it to the original conjuring movie uh and how they how they did that i thought was very effective to the overall narrative that had been portrayed in the nun movie and leading up to that moment where we found out that big twist how it connected to the original conjuring movie i thought that was very clever so if they were to bring or maybe they actually could i just thought about this if they somehow were to bring back ed and lorraine warren like maybe they do a, a annabelle comes home type of thing uh basically at this point you of course be making stuff up just like with annabelle annabelle comes home but if they were somehow to like set us in a modern time if they want to do that and have us explore valak through another experience with lorraine warren because again one of the highlights for me with valak when we first met her in the conjuring 2 was the interactions with lorraine warren those two actresses bonnie aarons and vera farmiga they were just incredible in their scenes together everything about it was just incredible the conviction and how they were delivering their dialogue and again with uh bonnie being so incredible at portraying this menacing terrifying nun demon <laughs> and then with lorraine portraying this uh heartwarming determined and courageous woman trying to save the lives of these of these innocent people you know you just had a dynamic there that i thought was very a lot of great chemistry when those two were on screen even though for a lot of it it was mostly lorraine delivering the dialogue 
there was some magic there i just thought that those two had a lot of great chemistry with what we saw from them in the conjuring 2 and i would love to see valak and lorraine meet again <laughs> i'm talking about it like this is some big rivalry they've only met once but they just had a lot of great moments together in that movie and the part where she actually was able to dethrone valak by revealing its name and exiling it back to hell so maybe this is something where they'll be exploring like valak returning and stalking lorraine warren once again and maybe a narrative like that could be something that's explored my guess is that it's just something that's predating everything we've gotten so far set sometime after the events of the nun 2 maybe set even prior to that i know some of you would like to see more of that gothic style see more of that spooky atmosphere established and i do think they should really capitalize on a less is more approach with the nun and go about it the way that they did with the conjuring 2 because at some aspects of the nun for me the actual movie we got feels like she was shown too much i do think there is power that you can create and a mystique you can create by talking something up and not having it on screen so much to the point that when it actually is on screen you are it's like a big payoff you have this setup coming from this dialogue of details and teases and glimpses of what is to come and then bam you get the payoff of this entity that is terrorizing everyone it makes them even more it makes their presence on screen more impactful so i feel like that was a little bit gone for the amount of times we saw valak in the nun as opposed to the conjuring 2 which even still the way that character is utilized there is much superior than how she's used in her own movie so with the nun 2 knowing that bonnie aaron is back the most i'm i'm just looking forward to is seeing some of this work she's able to bring to the character once again see that menacing performance i know she can give because she honestly was the strongest aspect of that movie in terms of the performances her performance as valak was the best part not to say that the other performances again were not great because tysa farmiga did her thing as well both of the farmigas they're great in this universe i know some people thought that maybe they might connect that character to lorraine and they're related i don't think they're going to do that just because they're sisters in real life i don't think they're going to do that but let me know how excited you guys are or aren't about bonnie aaron's being back as valak in the script in the comment section if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe Turn on publications and members of video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.